Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. So today I thought I'd do something a little bit different and basically show you the games I play on my iPhone. Not going to actually play them, I'm just going to tell you about them and show you what they are as such. So let's get down to it. The games I do play is mainly so give and take, don't always play daily, don't always, always play but I have them more open to suggestions if any decent ones come out or i just look through and play them so of course pokemon go play that pretty much if i'm going out and stuff and just you know it gets me active so and it takes away time you know it helps to get a bit more fun in walking so just walking listening to music it adds a little bit more you know difference to it and takes time away makes it go a lot quicker um a new one I've been playing lately is Best Fiends Forever. It's a newish one. You've got Best Fiends, this is the updated one where you've got a tap instead of doing like the Candy Crush style uh, movements, which is pretty fun. You can, guys should check that one out. It's a pretty good game. It's highly addictive though. You play it and you just, you just can't stop sometimes. So just keep playing it, playing it, playing it. Sonic CD, I have that on there. It was a free uh, app of the week. But I've not actually played it, but it's basically just like the originals, but on the phone version. Tap to Riches, it was an ad, <laughs> like some games, and I downloaded it because it looked kind of cool. A bit like Best Fiends as well, it's a tap related game, but it's pretty addictive as well. You just get tapping, 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 and you just really enjoy it. So we've got FIFA Mobile, which is obviously in the title, it's FIFA but on mobile. It's decent if you like football, but if you don't, you won't really like it, but it's pretty cool. It's a cool concept, but it does get a little bit boring after a while because it's just the same kind of thing. It doesn't seem to really change much. The next one got is Higher Lower, which is which is basically the popular game where everyone's the Google Higher Lower thing. It's just that, but I've got it on the iris. And next one, Championship Manager, a game I kind of play more regular than some. It's where you obviously manage a football team, a bit, bit like Football Manager, but I manage Bolton Wanderers in League One. I'm in the Premiership, won the Premiership, and I'm going for the Champions League this season. I will win it. Fit the whole game by Catch Up, just downloaded not too long ago. I have not played it yet, so I can't give you a review on that, but probably be good because I do like the girl. Developers, I play most of the games, and I give them a definitely big thumbs up. Mormon Test, Stupid Test, and Stupid Test 2. Maybe plans for a video in the near future. We'll see. <laughs> we'll just see. I gave one a little bit of a test star, and it was ridiculous. It may not be happening, but it may happen in the near future. Depends how many likes this video gets. And just that. Uh... So, Hill Climb. It's where you play side view, like, boom, just got my phone here, and you will, you, you ride the motorbikes, the uh, cars, and stuff like that. It's a pretty cool game, pretty addictive. Once you get to a point you've done most of the stuff on there, there's not really much else to do, so it gets a little bit boring. Like, I have, but you can have fun on it, so I recommend it. It's a free game, all these games are free, so it's worth the download. Don't Fall is just one of those um, games where you just tap and then you get movement by catch up again. Good old little game, same little fun to pass time, not highly addictive, but some games it's good not to be because you just, if you want to play other games. And most of Throwdown is probably most it's probably the game I play the most out of any. It's a mix uh, toss up between Family Guy, American Dad, Bob's Burgers and Futurama. It's all run by Fox. Pretty cool addictive game. It's like card games, kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh style, but with um, combo stuff. That's pretty cool. Highly addictive. I, I recommend it highly to download if you like those type of games. Uh, Score Hero is a football-related one where you draw it, um, where you draw lines to another player, draw it to another one, and you've got to score a goal and you got to get stars. Move on, move on. You become a, the best player in the world, etc. Pretty cool. Emoji Blitz. Girlfriend got me addicted to this. Don't replay it as much now, but you should play it a lot. It's that uh, Candy Crush style game, you move it. It's about getting the emojis that made me addictive. So that's why I played it. I play it occasionally now just to pass time. 
but it is fun little games. So I do recommend you download if you like those type of games. And hardest quiz is another one with those stupid uh, quiz ones where I may play. It all depends if I get to that point of my life. I feel like I'm gonna drown my sorrows for the next hour because that's what those games lead me to, just our frustration. And I know you can pretty much see what's on my phone, but if this video gets, uh, let's just say 10 likes, I would do a what's on my iPhone where I'll go through more in depth of everything on my phone. I know it's a trend that went years ago, but I feel like I can still do it. Maybe bring the trend back, you know what I'm saying? And it'd be cool to do 10 likes if you want to see that. And if you have any questions about the games or anything you have seen in this video, put it in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.